Hey, it's David Duncan again, coming back to you with another episode of the Lawn Ranger. Uh, I'm going to make another video today. Uh, I'm not working today. It is literally pouring rain again uh, here in Georgia. So I think I'd, I'd take a minute on uh, just talking to you guys a little bit about uh, invoicing and, and uh, um, software, how I, what I use and how I work out my invoicing and computer software. I know B and B. He had a question about his QuickBooks the other day, and uh, I don't by any means think I'm a pro at QuickBooks, but I have been. I have used QuickBooks for the past 15 years, and in the last year, I have upgraded to use QuickBooks Online, which is a great. It's a great asset to have as QuickBooks Online. It's where I can invoice from my iPhone or my iPad that I have with me in the truck. Invoice, send estimates, uh, receive an invoice, receive credit card payments, um, keep track of who's paid me and who hasn't paid me, all from my mobile device. Or I can come back at home and I can do that on my home computer. Now, I'm about half and half on sending email invoices and sending paper invoices. They're, you know, the, I know that it's easier to, for people to have a credit card on file, but believe, believe it or not, I have, I have found that a lot of people are very weary about using their credit card without them in person swiping it somewhere. I can provide that from them, but if I'm going to see them face to face and hand them my, my phone with my swiper, I might as well just give them the invoice myself and have them write me a check because of course there are uh, charges that incur from um, you know accepting credit cards and even more so from QuickBooks from you on QuickBooks online um, it usually is about between one and a half to two percent on that payment that you gonna have to pay so a lot of people don't like doing a lot of things over the phone a few will but I have found that not as many as I thought would pay online, uh, they just don't want to. They Evidently, they have had problems in the past with some type of fraud or uh, credit card hacking or whatever. But um, I use both ways. I mean, I can even send an in, uh, invoice email and they'll even send me a check or a bank draft or however that is. But that's really easy to do and keep track and also it's linked in with my QuickBooks Online is also linked in with my, my business account at my bank and it can record each transaction that I that I do whether that's a uh, um, check or a uh, credit card or debit card um, charge and then it can automatically calculate that as expenses and then after I set that up with what those charges are like for instance I go to QT and I swipe it it'll say QT and then I can put that as a fuel expense and it'll categorize that all by itself so it makes it a lot less time consuming for when I come home and I don't have to do that every day to keep track of my profit and loss or you know how much time that you spend doing that so QuickBooks Online is a very easy thing to do there is a charge on that I think I paid $11.99 a month I think which in hindsight is a very small amount um, for that but that's just what I use and that's what I prefer um, I don't know what you guys use let me know what you guys use and let you know let me know uh, what you think of that um, other than that that's all I got for today I uh, Wish you guys luck and happy cutting. See y'all later.